Hello everyone, this is Hardik Neja. I am a Microsoft Student Partner and a Youth Spark Advocate this year. So today I'm gonna demonstrate how you can deploy a ghost blogging platform onto your website through Windows Azure. There are several ways of doing it. So first of all, we'll start with the Windows Azure thing. This tutorial will be only on Windows Azure this time. So let's get started and let's uh, see how we can deploy it on Windows Azure. First of all, let me just tell you for uh, a Windows Azure, you need to go to windowsazure.com and uh, here you can see for an account, you probably need an account in Windows Azure to deploy it on a website. It's free, I mean like for the first month's free, you get $200 to spend. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in at manage.windowsazure.com. Okay. So we'll see how we can manage that thing up under this, this loading. In this tutorial, we'll also learn how you can change themes uh, from Windows Azure. So, uh, I mean, by deploying Ghost on a Windows Azure website. So it's one of the easiest things that you can do. Windows Azure Microsoft is doing a fantastic job helping us out with that. So, okay. So probably we'll create a new website for that first of all. Create a website. We're not gonna go on quick create, we're gonna go on from gallery. Now let's see what we can do over here. We're gonna go on blogs and choose coast over here. So yeah, as you can see there are various various uh, blogging platforms. You can choose any one of them, but today I'm gonna demonstrate coast. This is one of my favorite things. Actually, hardikanita.com is hosted on Ghosts. So, yes, so we're going to say, let's say, test. Got it very probably. Yes, it's available. So, we're going to create a new website hosting plan. Definitely, your region should be East US. Gmail service. So, you're going to actually punch in your Gmail email address over here. So, I don't have one. So, let's see what we can do. Probably punch in Hardikanita and I'll just put it password okay All right. so it's some legal terms probably okay next so it's creating the website what is exactly it's doing it's deploying it's creating a website it's creating some space for us in, in their network and then deploying ghosts to that website so that's wow. easy for us to you know um, just go in and check in so until it's creating them, let's check out blogs. Uh, let's check out the various themes that Coast has to offer. For that, you should go to marketplace.coast.org. Okay, so you'll find thousands of themes over here. Some are like paid, some are free. And actually, I'm pretty much moved by this one. So let's select this. It's a Coast Rider by Jolly Good Themes. Nice name. So I, uh, most of the themes will basically um, link you to uh, GitHub. So what you have to do is download the zip. It's basically a theme you're not dealing with. It doesn't uh, basically belong to the part of deploying it. It's getting deployed on Windows Azure right now, but we're working on the themes. So we have downloaded this Ghostwriter theme. It's saved. And uh, let's see. So it's still creating it. This will take a long time probably. So as, as you can see, it's been deployed and we can actually now click it and uh, can deep dive what's, what has been desired to offer us. So we can see Coast just a blogging platform, but it goes. So it's just like our blog is on, we cannot make any edits right now. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to give you um, a brief um, explanation how you can edit the stuff for editing you just need to go on coast so let's say that's one of three dot azure website dot net slash coast okay let's go here and see what it has to offer yes so uh, what you have to do is you can when you just click on coast it's like first time you're doing it and uh, they should be done so we can like it's a test for users I Let's say XYZ, maybe see that I email address used for important notification. Make sure you go for something good. I'm just punching in like anything right now, okay? Password, let's say XYZ, see that I have. Oh, it should be 1, 2, 3, 4. That makes a difference. 
Okay, let's do this. So now what it will do is it will set up your course blocking platform for you so that you can make edits, you can add users, you can do a lot of stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. So what you first see is like a page where you can add content. This is the uh, pre-installed or pre-configured um, page for you so you can post for you so you can maybe delete it or something like that. So it's, you can punch in new posts, you can go to settings. The main thing is in settings. Generally, you can upload a blog logo, a blog cover, email address, and themes. So as you can see, we are, we are being offered only one theme, and it's practically impossible for other users to punch in new themes if they have hosted it with Azure. So I'm gonna showcase a thing which you can do, and uh, this will add to your themes thing. Now, as you remember, we have downloaded this host writer theme from GitHub, I mean, like from marketplace.coast.org. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install that theme into our website so that we can have something new. Till now, our website looked something like this a test for users. Okay. So, we'll go back to the Windows Azure and let's see. So, what I want is that I should have. Um, a deployment I should be able to use the FTP versions of my uh, blog now as you can see deployment FTP user not set we currently don't have any FTP user and we want to set up one so what we'll do is we'll set up deployment credentials Bing one to three To go. So it also might ha might happen that sometimes when you configure in your uh, when Windows Azure is showing that your web host is deployed, and you try to open your website, it says you're not accessible or it's not available or something like that. Then what you should do is you should probably go back to Windows Azure and push this restart button. If you push that, it will redeploy. It, will not, it won't redeploy the things. It will basically restart them. It will restart the website. It will refresh the website. We can say that. And after that, you should be able to do it. If you still face a problem, you can always ping me at hardik at hardikanaja.com. Okay. Uh, yes. So we have set up uh, our deployment credentials. We can see the deployment has been done, I and mean, we have. Been able to use that the stuff so we have downloaded the theme as well now we're gonna copy this host name with us and now what you need is uh, probably something called an FTB push service and we can uh, on Mac I love to use Coda too uh, it's a paid version I'll put I'll put in the links in my description and uh, for your Windows PC I prefer FileZilla, it's pretty good. You can use that for your things as well. So I'm gonna use Coda. Let's open Coda. Coda is one amazing piece of software if you wanna use it on Mac, definitely. Okay, so I have, uh, we'll set up a new website. Website, let's say blog test. Okay, our protocol is on FTP. It's not secure yet, but you can always go for the SMT version as well. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, now we're gonna punch in the FTP and we copy username. Oh, I forgot the username. What was the username? It was Bing. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Username is this. This is your username. You cannot put Bing123, okay? This is your unique name and then you enter the password that you set up don't need to put all that stuff and let's say we'll open it put the files thing so it's connecting to my website right now and we can push and um, download the file from the site now it's site deployments on top of the root okay we're going inside and then we're gonna go to content and then we're going to go to themes okay so we have one theme cast program one we downloaded 
it's host wide and master so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this file and put it over here okay onto my desktop and now I got it host and on my desktop is ghost wire. what I do is just drag it over here and drop it over there now what I, what ha what is happening is that this ghost I mean this theme is getting uploaded on the server of the website that we just created we deployed ghost on it so it takes some time oh give it some time to upload okay notification of upload complete so now what we should do is we should get something like uh... hey did I just put you in setup we don't want to go on setup we just want to go on coast okay so we are in panel of settings and we are just put a new theme oops we still don't get it now what you have to do is again that refresh button will help us out. Press the restart button. It will restart and will upload the new configuration and settings and send the new data to Coast and uh, it will be able to sense it that they have something new in them. So we'll probably be uploaded it. We're gonna give it a reload. And now we can see an option of Coast Rider. We're gonna select that. And boom, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna make sure that we're setting save success. Uh, so setting successfully saved. Oh my God. Now let's go to the website and see how beautiful has gone. And yes, we have something new. I mean, it's beautiful new. that we took so it's good you can share it with Facebook so this was a little uh, demo on how you can basically upload or change a theme if you have deployed course on your Windows Azure website I hope this is useful and if you face any problems please ping me at any of the social networks or my email is uh, I mean I'm available on my email my best way to reach me reach, reach out to me is by email so my email is hardik at hardikanasia.com you can definitely go there and see so this was one short demo of deploying and changing the theme of the ghost blog okay guys thank you so much for watching and do subscribe and like this video